He's a stupid moron. This guy doesn't know anything about what he's talking about. No, Mike Diamond, you blew it. Completely blew it. Th this is leaner than 14%, guys. It's probably closer to 10 to 11%. Like I get people quite frequently saying that I must be like, you know, 10, maybe even sub 10%. There are a few reasons for that. So a few reasons why my body fat is higher than you guys probably think it is. Yeah. So your body fat percentage is 14.1%. 14.1%, that's yeah. my actual, yeah? Body fat percentage. 14.1. Yeah. Okay. Nine, exactly. Easy results, Matt. So okay. overall, your body fat percentage is 13.3%. 13.3, that's not too bad. Right, now we jump. Both pod results are in 14.2% uh, body fat. So at the end of the day, the Dexa, the Skinfold, and the Bod Pod recorded in between a range of 13 and 14% body fat. Greg disagrees. You guys decide. Greg Doucette, the Skinfold, Dexa, or and the Bod Pod. Which do you think is more accurate? What's up guys, it's your boy Dr. Mike Damsel. Welcome to the video. I'm gonna jump straight into it. I have a traumatology exam tomorrow. And I have watched Greg Doucette's video. I do thoroughly enjoy it his reactionary videos. They're very emotional based. And I think this is what's truly amassed his following. He wears his heart on his sleeve. He speaks out of his mind. And I think people really do enjoy that, including myself. However, it does contrast from my content where mine is more scientific based. I'm a big believer that men lie, women lie, numbers don't. However, comparing the 13 athletes that I did list, Greg and I only disagreed on four of them, which gives us a roughly 70% agreement in terms of what the rough body fat percentage are. This is his quote in terms of what he thinks our opinions are between the, the two athletes. With us, I have him at three to 4%, he has him at 4%, so we're pretty much bang on. If you're within a percent, we're arguing about 1%. That's just nothing. If you're, if somebody says you're 6% and you're really five, or you're 10% and you're really 11, that's, that's accurate. That, that being said, I have listed where Greg Doucette did disagree with me. What I'm going to do, I'll present you guys with the scientific information. I'll also link it in the description below and allow you guys to make an analysis and your own opinion at the end of the day. So let's jump straight into it. The first thing we had discussed and if you go further into the video, he does agree that healthy men do need to be between four and 6%. So fat is four to 6%. It's not, it's 3%. Why? Well, he, he had a study. Well, guess what? The study said four to six percent is essential for healthy men to be healthy, healthy, not to have life, not to be the lowest humanly possible body fat percent you can attain. He says four to six percent. It's three. So he's close, but it's less than that. Okay. So that's just I just want to throw out that just because somebody throws up a study real quickly, I'm not going to name names. There's lots to do that. It doesn't mean that it's the truth. But there were some discrepancies that he didn't mention. So these are the studies that are presented in terms of body fat percentage. Number one, a study done by Carl and colleagues. The results suggest that four to six percent body fat or 2.5 kilograms of fat represents the lower limit of healthy men as assessed by DEXA or by underwater weighing. The second study was by Reed and colleagues. Four to five percent body fat is the normal lower limit to fat reserves in physically active underfed young adult men. And in response to exercise and underfeeding women, use more fat mass and less fat free mass to meet metabolic fuel requirements. Finally, Greg Doucette does mention a bodybuilder by the name of Andres Munzer, which recorded a body fat percentage of 3% and this is according to a researcher at the University of Columbia. However, Andreas Munzer unfortunately isn't with us due to multiple organ failure at the age of 32. So that does tell you that anything lower than four to six percent in healthy men is the lower limit of body fat. However, I have linked the studies in the description below and you guys can make your own decision. This doctor matches up to this, not a doctor. So before I get into that, I'm not a doctor. I just said I'm not. I'm actually somebody with laser surgery vision who can tell you what percent body fat you have. Better than DEXA scan, bod pod, skin bone caliper, hydrostatic, I don't care what method, this method is the golden standard of body fat assessment. The second thing we disagreed on was the DEXA scan versus Greg Doucette's laser eyes that can determine the body fat percentage of an individual. I'm here to present you the reliability of a DEXA scan. Now the first article is according to examine.com and it states, the research concluded that the bod pod was more accurate when testing people closer to a healthy BMI. The bod pod was less accurate than the DEXA scan when it comes to measuring very lean individuals. 
From the University of Technology, Sydney, DEXA-derived fat-free soft tissue mass and bone mineral content are suitable for assessing body composition in lean team sports athletes. Some more research by the University of Pittsburgh says, although there are more significant differences between DEXA fan beam and the Criterion methods, these differences were of small magnitude, suggesting that DEXA is an accurate method for measuring of fat-free mass in elderly. And according to Composition ID, it does say that DEXA scans error rates are between 1 and 2%, so in terms of discrepancies, you can give it and you should take it with a grain of salt with whatever measurement you take, but between 1 and 2%. Final study was done on Australian football players. DEXA-derived fat-free soft tissue mass and bone mineral content are suitable for assessing body composition in lean team sports athletes. So if I have to decide, my life is on the line to determine what my body fat percentage is. Rely on Greg's laser-focused eyes or use a DEXA scan. It's highly likely that I'm going to side with a DEXA scan, but at the end of the day, you guys can decide. See, this is the problem. You need to see proper video footage, and honestly, in person is the way to do it. I can only do so much laser vision on a screen. Now, going on into the athlete. The first athlete we disagreed on was Cristiano Ronaldo. Now, as you can see, I don't think Greg knows who Cristiano Ronaldo is. He's wrong. Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo. Somebody that plays soccer that's good looking. So the first athlete myself and Greg disagreed on was Cristiano Ronaldo. He believed him to be in more of the upper 10%. However, I do believe Greg doesn't know who Cristiano Ronaldo is fully and what kind of a specimen and athlete he really is. That being said, the research was released by Juventus Medical Center, J Medical, who has a number of the best researchers in the entire world. And this information was also publicized by a number of sports outlets, going from Sports Bible, Marca, The Business Insider, and Daily Mail, just to name a few. Also, I did say Meringue and Cristiano Ronaldo are very comparable in terms of their fat mass distribution. Greg disagreed. However, I'll put the two photos up of both individuals and you guys can make an assessment of your own if you do believe Meringue and Cristiano Ronaldo are at the same body fat and also you can assess is Ronaldo a true 7% body fat? I'll leave that up to you. Let me know in the comment section. The next athlete was Jeff Nippard, recorded at 8.4% according to DEXA scan. Is he insane? He has Jeff Nippard at 8.4%. Mind you, this is from older footage, but he's saying that him and David Lade have the same body fat distribution. He's saying he shredded upper body and legs. He's not, he's not 8.4%. 8 the DEXA scan is clearly wrong. Greg Lucid absolutely disagreed with this. He did mention that he needs to see more lean images of him. So I'm also going to give you the opportunity to decide for yourself. At his most shredded and then say it's 8.4%. Find his stage shots and say this is 8.4% on stage. Now, Matt does fitness. This is something that Greg said raged upon. He shows Matt does fitness, and he's showing him here shredded. And he's got 14.1% on the DEXA scan, and he has him as a higher percent body fat than The Rock. He's leaner than The Rock in the upper body, and his legs are freaking pretty damn lean. I'm looking at the video at eight minutes and 43. His legs, seb separation, he's almost, I would argue he's as lean as freaking Jeff Nippard, who said he was 8.4%. This is leaner than 14%, guys. It's probably closer to 10 to 11%. Now, Magda's fitness, according to DEXA, as Greg said, mentioned that I might have a bias towards. However, it's interesting that Magda's fitness did do a skin fold test and he also did a bod pod, and these were the results. It is 14.1%. 14.1%, that's yeah. my actual, yeah? Body fat percentage. 14.1. Yeah. Okay. 2.8 mils. 5.5 mils is 7.2. 7.3. 4.8, 6.9, 9 exactly. These are results, Matt. So okay. overall, your body fat percentage is 13.3%. 13.3, that's not too bad. Right, out we jump. Odd pod results are in 14.2% uh, mm -hmm. body fat. So it always brings people out a tad higher than what yeah. we bring. But... Matt recorded a skin fold of 13.3%, and the researcher claims this. Try it, what I'm having done today, please. So Matt is going to have done uh, a full skin fold assessment and he's going to go into the bod pod as well. 
This to confirm, the skin fold, right, is very accurate, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. If you have a full ISAC accreditation, so typically what a sports scientist would have. And you have that. I have that. Uh, so all we we all have that in the labs. Uh, that is the idea. It's very accurate. It's been over six months training. Bod pod is great, uh, but if you have a good person doing it, it's far more accurate and reliable. He also then proceeded to do a bod pod that is at 14.2 percent. So at the end of the day, the DEXA, the Skinfold, and the Bod Pod recorded him between a range of 13 and 14% body fat. Greg disagrees. You guys decide. Greg Doucette, the Skinfold, DEXA, or and the Bod Pod. Which do you think is more accurate? I need to put most of my fat kind of here on my lower back and then on my quads and hamstrings, right? Instagram pictures, you don't see that, right? That's covered by like my pants and the angle of the shot. So I put very little fat on this kind of specific area here and what that means is I can be higher body fat so I can be like I am now 40 maybe even up to 15, 16, 17 percent and still have pretty decent looking abs which gives me the illusion of being leaner than I am. On top of that I'm good at posing for pictures right what most of you are judging my body fat percentage on is probably Instagram pictures okay now you have to bear in mind Instagram picture is very posed like I've made myself look as good as I possibly can. And finally Greg Doucette mentions myself I don't give myself enough credit. Now it's very easy to give individuals angles of the certain ways that you look but at the day on the day of measuring my body fat percentage I am predisposed to holding a lot of body fat in my legs and in my glutes a considerable amount this sometimes has to do with a joke that a lot of African people hold a lot of body fat within their glutes and their legs now this is something that you guys can't see and Greg can't and an interesting fact is that myself and Matt Does Fitness did the same test at the same location so how far off do you think that my reading is as compared to what Greg did? Now, I'm going to leave it there. I've listed all the videos that I'm mentioning below. I've listed all the articles in the description below. I do enjoy these. It's a great discussion. I'm not the type to insult, but I do believe presenting you guys with the medical evidence and you guys making a final decision is the content that I enjoy producing. If you did enjoy it, hit it with a thumbs up. If you're new, what are you doing? Welcome to the team, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going back to study. Wish me luck in the comment section down below. Peace.